Teresa's Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this beautiful, overcast, nice, lightly warm day where this morning I'm going to clean up several of my big pots of mint. I'm going to bring you along. Now, I understand there's a lot of people that it's not time to clean your mints up yet. Here, we're going to get a little cold a few more times. Got another cool evening next week, but it should be fine. So, let's head down and get to cleaning up my mint pots. Okay, this mint pot or grow bag of mint is doing well because of the solar light in it. So I'm just going to set it over in the next pot. Now this one is variegated peppermint. So I don't do a whole lot of variegated plants because a lot of times in my opinion they don't grow very well. This one has them. And all I'm doing is cutting back the dead stems from last year and getting them ready so they can flush up and grow big and healthy. And on sunny days, come on now, on sunny days, that sun will be able to hit the plants in the grow bag. And yes, this is a five gallon grow bag. You can grow mint in five gallon grow bags, bigger grow bags, big pots. I like to try to keep most of my mint contained, but there's some mint that we decided not to contain. And one is the apple mint up in the front yard. We're just letting it go wherever it wants to because that's one of Junior's, that's Junior's favorite mint. But it's a toss-up uh, between his two favorite mints and his other one is the candy cane mint, which is an amazingly strong peppermint that tastes just like eating a candy cane. And it makes wonderful tea and um, hot chocolate as well. I'm going to have to sharpen my clippers up and get my hands to want to work better. Alright, I'm going to pause you here. I'm going to finish cleaning this pot out, and I'll bring you right back. Now you can see how beautiful it is, and let me tell you, the aroma is amazing. But you see it's all cleaned out, all the deadheading is done. Now, when you go to deadhead them, don't pull on the stems. Just hold them and snip, because you're liable to pull roots up. Unless you're ready to plant more or put more mint in another pot, don't pull at the mints. But this smells good. And this is another reason why I'm not big on variegated plants. Because as they grow, they will go back to the parent plant. And see, it's variegated here. A little bit of variegation here. But the rest is green. I got this one because it smells amazing. So I'm going to set that one over here. I'm going to start on another one. Ugh. And you just hold your stem and snip. You don't want to pull because you take a bigger chance of damaging your plant. And yes, mint can be damaged. And this one, oh yes. This one I want to take very good care of. Because this is one 
that I had to search and find for Junior. This is the candy cane mount. So, I'm going to just continue to snip back these dead stems from last year. And I'll bring you back when I get all the stems cut back. Okay, I have all the tall stems clipped out. I'm going to remove some of the leaves, not all of them, because I'm going to leave them in to break down. But I want, also want to take enough out so that the sun, that they can feel the sun on them. Now, another thing you got to be careful about. You only want to trim the stems that are coming upwards because mints are runners and for those who've never grown mint before <clears throat> they will have these stems that run along the ground on top of the soil leave those alone because that's where new plants or new sprigs of the mint come from see like this one it's still embedded here and embedded here I'm leaving that one alone this one looks sickly so I'm gonna take it out but you got to be really careful you just want to snip don't pull But that one still has a little bit of leaf protection in it. And that one's going to be springing up before long. So let's get to another mouth pot. Put that one back in there for now. Let's see which one this is. Okay, this is just regular spearmint. Now, me and Junior, Junior actually more than I am, are mintaholics. We love our mints. And we have a lot of mints. We, this is just five pots, six pots here. Seven, eight, nine ten we have as long as they've all made it through the winter we have I do believe 16 different kinds of mint and we also have a mint shipment coming in soon to replace some of the ones we lost due to the cold extremely cold and some new ones that we don't have. So I'm going to get this one trimmed up. And I'll bring you back. Okay. This one is cleaned out. It's a little slower to get started. I got some of the weeds. That were trying. Or grass. That was trying to. Uh, come up. But this spearmint is clean. Now. I'm not going to fertilize or feed any of the mints yet. We've got rain coming. And we've got a few more cold snaps coming. So I don't want a big flush of mint when there's a chance that we might frost. So I'm going to leave them like they are. And we're going to move this one back over here. Move this one back over here. And we're going to get this big one up. Ha <laughs> ha, look. I told you. I told you. There's a mint plant. Coming from this one. The stem had went down. And see, I've got another one to plant right here. I'm going to cut it back. Last year, I didn't get to harvest a lot of the mint, so the stalks went over. And see, I have a pretty 
little mint plant rooted. Now, let's find out what kind of mint this is. Set it right here, because I know that don't go in that pot. Oh! Now, we have unique basils that a lot of people have not heard of. This is the basil mint. And yes, it smells just like basil. And it looks like it's doing pretty good. Got some good strong stalks on it. I can see that it's starting to come up really good now. Happy little mint here. Oh, I hear the hawks coming. We're going to set this little baby right down in there. And let it continue to grow because it'll do better in this than it will out in the yard. And you just want to clean them up, get any weeds. I'm going to have to make a new tag because this tag has disintegrated. Any tree seeds? Yes, tree seeds. I forget at the moment what these are called. But these little winged seeds are a nuisance. I've got several more of those that I've got to cut down. But as you can see... This one's starting to really pop up good. And it's that simple to clean them up and get them ready for this growing season. I always wait till late winter, really early spring to clean them up from last year. Let's see, what kind do we have here? Apparently the tag has disappeared. We want to snip them back as far as you can get it, or as close to the ground as you can get it, without cutting into any little ones coming up. And I'm stacking my stems over here, because yes, I know they're dead. And then they're going to go into the compost pile. Now, with mint, don't throw any green stems into your compost pile unless you're wanting mint to take over your compost pile. This one's just starting to come up. I see one right there. Get any seedlings that you know is not meant out. You don't want any weeds or grasses to strangle out your mint. It's 
just barely starting to come up right here. So you want to be careful when you're working around it. Little bitty one coming up there. And like I said, here's a green runner. Leave that alone. This one is still in the ground. Leave it alone. Until you know that they are, that they have died back. Then you can clean them out. But until then, leave them alone. Because I've seen these dark brown ones sprout back up. And this way, the rain will be able to come down and hit where the plant is. Okay, this one does not want to move by itself. Okay, what do we have here? Another candy cane mint. He got two candy cane mint plants. And let me tell you, man loves mint. And I am perfectly fine with that. Okay. And like I said, we're just going to cut the big dead stems out and I will bring you back as soon as I'm done alright this one's cleaned out too Junior's going to be happy as can be because both pots of the candy cane mint is doing wonderful and as you can see little bitty ones are coming up there's a new runner there's a new runner. So many new runners. And then, of course, little weed seeds. I don't know why they think they have to do that. But make sure that any little weed seeds coming up, you pull out because you don't want any competition for your mint. So many people are scared to grow mint. It can be contained, y'all, in big pots, big deep pots. Now, shallow pots, it will come out of the bottom of your pot. It will. It's just mint. They try to expand and grow out. But as long as you keep it harvested during the growing season, it'll keep going upwards. I see my variegated peppermint. I'm going to need to split it later this year. We're going to see how the candy cane mint looks. But once, once things start looking crowded, you just split them up. You can give them away to friends. You can sell them. You can trade with them. But mint is a very important plant to have in your gardening area good for colds flus uh, indigestion heartburn extremely medicinal plant to have and plus all the different uh, mint plants you can make um, tinctures with of course you can make extracts as well because nobody should eat plain food and then, of course, there's the obvious. You can make so many different kinds of mint tea with it. I'm going to get these placed back. I'm going to get started on planting some more seeds in the Hooty Hoop House. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it encourages you to, yes, branch out, grow mint. I'm also going to put a link in the description box below to one of the main places we buy our mint plants from. It's a wonderful nursery, and they just 
opened up sales for this year. So, yeah, me, me and Junior kind of got a little happy, and we've got a bunch of mint plants coming in here soon. And that'll be another video for that. Grow everything you possibly can, y'all. Because this, like I said, this mint is amazing and hot toddies as well. And your tea and, and mint and lemonade is very good as well. Stock up and put back foods that will nourish and heal you. Things to herbs to make tea with because believe me you're going to get sick and tired of drinking plain water that ain't going to make you happy for long medicines that will heal you protection of all kinds and the bare essentials i look forward to seeing you in my next video and also always remember organic always are organic grow organic you don't need those pesticides and those chemicals in your life that's why so many people are sick everyone take care stay safe and sound in this crazy world and i'll see you in my next video hoot hoot i'll see you soon